Today we're going to be making marshmallow fondant. It's going to be super easy and delicious. But first, we need a few things to begin before we start. We will need a 16 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, a two pound bag of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of water, two teaspoons of flavor, shortening, a glass bowl, a spoon, and some gloves. Now I'll explain the gloves later. Let's get started. Okay, first you wanna grease your bowl with shortening. This is going to help your marshmallows to not stick to the bowl. Then you wanna add 16 ounces of mini marshmallows to your bowl. You want to add two tablespoons of water and two teaspoons of flavor. I like to add mine right at the beginning. Now we're going to pop it in the microwave for one minute and 25 seconds. Now your marshmallows are nice and melted. The consistency that you want your marshmallows to be is melted on the bottom and a still a little bit hole on top. Now, make sure that you've greased your spoon with shortening and you're going to stir those marshmallows and you wanna to try to work really quickly at this point to keep those marshmallows nice and warm to work with. So we're just gonna stir and they're starting to melt the ones on top. Now at this point, if you wanted to cover the entire batch of marshmallows, then this is the point that you would actually add your coloring. We're gonna, if you want to leave it white, then you can just continue with the next step. The next step is to add your powdered sugar. So we're gonna add about half of that powdered sugar to the bowl. Now one thing that you wanna make sure is that that powdered sugar is sifted and doesn't have any lumps. If the bag is vacuum sealed, the chances of it having lumps are gonna be very, very low. But sometimes your boxes, if they sit on the counter at the store for too long, they may start to develop a few lumps. So make sure that you've sifted it. So we're gonna kinda of stir and incorporate that into the fondant. Okay, just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. Now some people would say, can you use a mixer with this process? You absolutely can. Make sure that it is in one of those really good mixers because if you're using a hand mixer, it just doesn't work as well. Now I'm adding the rest of the powdered sugar. We're gonna incorporate it and try to mix it in just a little bit, like so. And you just continue to stir and stir. Can you see that it's really coming together? Now I know at this point it looks like this is not going to work, but you just continue to work with it and it's eventually going to be nice and elastic. Okay, now this is where the gloves come in. This food is considered a ready to eat food. And the rule of thumb for food safety is that you always wear gloves when handling ready to eat food. If you are using your bare hands, then your bare hands going into that fondant, everything on your hand is being incorporated into that fondant. So if you're wearing gloves, it's going to protect the food a little more. You wanna grease your gloves. Take that spoon out. And now you're gonna use your hands just to continue to get that fondant to incorporate. So you just continue to work it and work it and work it. I love making my own fondant. It is so delicious. You can flavor it with any kind of flavor that you want. You can color it any kind of color that you want. And when you get to the point where you've made a whole batch of white fondant, you can divide it up and color each piece of that fondant. So let's say that you wanted to do an entire batch you can color that fondant any color by just breaking off the pieces of white and choosing whatever color you need. You can see it's starting to already come together. 
So you just continue to work it and work that powdered sugar into the fondant. And I'm just squeezing and turning, squeezing and turning. Okay. It's getting there. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And it smells wonderful. That bowl's trying to get away from me. <laughs> All right, we just keep working it in that bowl. Now, some people like to take their fondant and turn it out on the counter, and sometimes I will do that too. If you do that, you wanna line your counter with some type of um, plastic wrap. The plastic wrap will keep your fondant from becoming contaminated. Make sure that you wash and sanitize that surface first. Again, all food contact surfaces should be clean and sanitized. Now, when you do decide to roll your fondant out on the surface, you wanna use cornstarch or you can use more powdered sugar. This keeps it from sticking. Look how elastic that is. Now, how do you know it's ready? Can you hear that? Still a little bit sticky. So I'm gonna incorporate a little bit more of this sugar. And I'm gonna add a little bit more shortening to my hands. And then just continue to work it and knead it. Now, to store that fondant, look how it's coming together nicely. To store that fondant, you wanna just take a little bit of shortening Rub it on the outside of the fondant. Wrap it in saran wrap and pop it into a bag, a plastic bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop it into this plastic bag and try to get all of the air out of it because if air is in that fondant, in that bag, it will harden pretty quickly. So you want to try to get that air out. Now, if I'm in a hurry, I'll take this fondant and pop it into the freezer to knock the heat off of it. And then that way it can be ready to roll. When I'm ready to roll it, I'll sprinkle it with some cornstarch or powdered sugar on the surface and roll it out and you're ready to decorate a beautiful cake. Now, some people will ask, can you reuse your fondant? Well, if you plate with your fondant and rolled it out and applied it to a cake, that fondant can be reused for that cake only. Now, can it be used for a cake at a later time? The answer is no. You want to make sure that any fondant that was used with that cake is discarded at the end of that use. 